I'm Charlotte, and today we are making guacamole ice cream. Guacamole ice cream. that feels like cheating. Today, I know every day I say it's exciting, but you know, this is what I love to do. And today I'm really excited to share with you my special recipe of guacamole ice cream. Yes, you heard it correct. It's guacamole ice cream. But the good news is that it's not made with the exact same ingredients as guacamole. It's a little bit of an adaptation because ice cream, we're probably expecting it to be sweet, although I have to tell you, I did try the normal guacamole and made it into ice cream and I like it, but I like, you know, very sour, spicy stuff. Now this is gonna be a, a real ice cream, except it's gonna be good for you. Remember that making every bite count for two is one of my missions in life and something I wanna share with you. So it has to taste good and it has to be good for you. And this ice cream does exactly that. So let me start telling you the ingredients we're gonna do and what they're replacing in each, in, in terms of the regular guacamole recipe. So avocado is the same. So we have some avocado here. Instead of uh, tomatoes, you know, tomatoes are, are a main ingredient in guacamole, we're gonna use strawberries. So they're gonna be cut, finely cut as the tomatoes are in guacamole. Instead of onion, because we don't want onion in our ice cream, although I would, <laughs> we're gonna use coconut flakes. I have unsweetened coconut flakes. I normally get them at Thrive Market or I get them at, at Amazon and I will provide the links to both. Instead of garlic, we're gonna have cashews. I have cashews and we're gonna chop them finely and we're, we're gonna pretend that's the, the garlic because garlic is, is part of the recipe in my guacamole and I also get them at Thrive Market. You can get them at Amazon. Instead of cilantro, cilantro is a key color in the guacamole and a key item in, in my guacamole, we're gonna use mint. This is fresh mint I bought at my farmer's market and we're gonna chop it finely and we're gonna put it in our guacamole ice cream. Other ingredients that are not direct substitutes but are important, we're gonna have Himalaya pink salt. We're gonna need a can of organic coconut milk and it has to be uh, unsweetened and it has to be full fat. So you don't need low fat and it's better in a can because otherwise it's not gonna do what we need it to do. And we're gonna have some liquid stevia and a lemon. Oh, you know what? The lemon, it is used in guacamole. I use lime, but you know, this will substitute the lime. We're gonna have a lemon, which is a little less acidic, and we want that for this type of ice cream. As far as tools, I have some knives, a spoon. So I love these spatulas, and I can also provide the link. I, I just love it. They're just so convenient. I have a full set. And then as far as equipment, we have these Handheld blender, you can use also your regular mixer, but I just don't like to carry it and move it around. So this is very easy when you wanna do something quick. And I will also provide the link. And then I have a food processor. You can use a blender, but uh, I like more food processors. And because this is, I'm just gonna do the avocado in the processor. I'm going to use this little one. I don't have to carry the other big one that you may have seen me use. And I love to have this. I use this one also to chop onions, to chop little thingies, and that I, if you just want something very simple. And then I have a big bowl, and then we're gonna cover it with this. These silicone covers I love. Instead of using plastic wrap, you can just use them. They come in different sizes, and I'm going to use that because we're gonna freeze our ice cream. Let's do the fun part. Avocado, as, as we've talked before, avocado is a fruit and it's one of my favorite fruits. It's just so creamy and it just has the right consistency to do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it's a fruit that doesn't have uh, much carbohydrates. It's in fact actually mainly fat and fiber.
processing the avocado. One of the new tools I just added is this squeezer. I love this because it just fits perfectly for big lemons. This little thing, I love this thing. So let's do it. of avocado you can just scrape it and do it again and that should be good mm, pure creaminess so I got my assistant I think this is gonna be a difficult job whenever I have difficult jobs I always bring my favorite assistant you look beautiful. So, do you want to say hi? Hi. Okay. So we're. Do she's like gonna. I do like it. Put it on. It looks perfect. Okay. So uh, what we're gonna start doing is we got the, the avocado and now we're gonna add the um, the coconut cream. What I did was I had this organic coconut milk full fat unsweetened and I left it in the refrigerator overnight. It's important that you do that. Then you open it and you're gonna take out only the solid parts and maybe a little bit of the liquid. Okay. As you can see, once I start getting to the bottom, you can see that now there's the liquid, which is the coconut water. We're not gonna need that. Maybe just a little to make it up, to make our cream. I'll just pour a little. Like. That's it. And so now we're gonna put it here and we're gonna whip it. add our their strawberries so now it's starting to look like a guacamole now we'll add our onion which is not onion it is coconut flakes our garlic which is not garlic, it is cashews. And then last but not least, we're gonna add our cilantro, which is not cilantro, it is mint. Then let's add a little bit of sea salt. We can add a few drops of stevia. With stevia, you, I, you gotta be careful for two things. You wanna make sure uh, you use one that is pretty much only stevia and not other sugars. Normally, many stevias say stevia on the, at the, towards the end of the list, but this is pure plant-based stevia, clear. It's just very sweet, so be careful, just use a very, you know, a few drops. So we're ready to taste this. This is not an ice cream yet, because of course it has to be frozen. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna it taste like it. A yeah, we're gonna taste it and then if we like if we like the sweetness then we'll put it in the freezer we'll cover it with this super cool silicon top and then in a few hours we'll we'll serve it as ice cream for dinner probably 
For dinner, yeah. That would be fun. Can I drag? Yeah, it's not gonna be sweet. But I think, you know, once we have the sweetness level, right? And then this could be a mousse if you don't wanna freeze it. Okay, I'm gonna put a few drops. Just goes a long way. It's already semi sweet with the fruit. Okay, try. Let's see. We need a little more sweetness, no? Okay, I'm gonna mix it and maybe a little more salt. It's the salt actually makes makes the sweetness come alive. And the salt I'm using is pink Himalayan salt, which unlike regular salt, it does have some minerals in it. Specifically, Himalayan salt has some iron. So good for your energy. Do you think we would achieve the good sweetness? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna add a little more sea salt. No, I said sea salt, but it's Himalayan. Pink salt. Mm, I think it's really good. Can I give a few more drops? When we serve it, we'll serve it with a little more chopped strawberries and chopped mint so that it looks like real guacamole. So here we have it, and let's freeze it, and I'm very excited to taste it in a few hours. Okay, hi guys, so I, I put the, the guacamole ice cream in the freezer for a few hours and now I took it out and it is hard as a rock. After taking it out, I left it here. This was great because, you know, you don't have to let air come in and all that, so, and then you can just clean it, use it for different things, I love that. And then now it's hard as a rock, so, no, actually no, it's been um, about, 30 minutes out of the, the freezer, so it's something that I can, yeah, I can stick my spoon in. It's just, it's just gonna be hard to use this thing to make the ice cream ball. Mm. That's really good. So we gotta wait a little until I can carve it, maybe another half hour, so about one hour, I'll let you know how it goes, and then we're gonna have this for decorating, and I have two sets. And um, this will be to make it look like real guacamole because the rest of them are already integrated. So remember, it's sort of like the tomatoes, onions, garlic, and cilantro. But it's really mint, cashews, strawberries, and, and coconut. So I can't wait to taste it and show you how to do it. So it's that moment, my favorite moment, when it's time to try it. And I, I have the two cups, but I'm gonna just try one. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is so amazing. And this is the type of ice cream that it's gonna taste good, but it's gonna be good for you. Mm. Oh my God, you gotta try it. And remember all the benefits I told you, you have like, it's too many to remember right now, but there's, you gotta try this. And I hope to see you very soon. Remember, if you like this video, don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.